Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 10. So, I've actually just finished the last episode, and I am still reeling in shock. So, I think I'm entitled to a slower paced episode, <clears throat> but I have no idea if that's what I'm going to get. But I'm about to find out, so let's get straight into it, shall we? Before we start, I just want to let everybody know that the footage we're about to see does not belong to me. It belongs to AMC. But, without further ado, episode 10, lights, camera, action. Wait, what was that picture all about? Carl! What? He says it's BT. I can't hear you, come on out. What is going on? Denise, Denise says this is BT. He's <laughs> alive! He's up and he's functioning. He'll be good out there. Yeah, we'll see. And thank you. Oh. Spearmint and baking soda, that's my favorite. Ah, as soon as I get it, you will. What in the world have I missed? It's not medical. No, I drew a line between the important stuff and that. Uh, don't go out of your way, and uh, if it gives you any trouble. I won't. Okay, good, because it's not important. I should have said so instead of just drawing a line. Oh, bloody hell, that wall got huge. Well, I'm not surprised, really. I'm surprised Alexandria st stood standing, stayed standing, stood, what am I even saying? I'm surprised it's here still, okay? Uh, you're gonna find food, maybe some people. I don't know, we ain't seen nobody for weeks. Maybe you ain't gonna find nobody. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, we don't want to find any more people, thank you very much. Let's keep our provisions for the people that we do have. Because the other people out here are kind of dodgy, most of them. Okay, so a considerable amount of time has passed since the last episode. Enough for Carl to recover and for them to start rebuilding Alexandria. Where have you been? What? I never see you. You helped Glenn get home. You helped me when I was up in that guard post. Let's adopt her. You and Glenn and Enid and the little baby to come. I'm around. Come talk to me. Actually, poor Enid, bless her. If I read to probably scramble, she was like, one of my friends is dead. And just before they die, they try to kill my other friend. Yeah, we good. One more time. Then you lost. even know what's in here but there's a vast amount of it so let's take it all so now that we found food <clears throat> i'm assuming we're gonna find people next didn't we the question is are they gonna be friend or foe it's soda and candy why the trouble i need your trouble oh shit the beds i told you we'll find people hi hi Easy, guys. I was just running from the dead. Where? About a half a mile back. They're headed this way. You probably have about 11 minutes. Mate, you as well suspicious. Why are you wearing gloves? You have a camp? Guys, you actually did come out here looking for food and people. Do you? No. This is the next world. I hope it's good to you guys. Thanks. Paul Rovia. But my friends used to call me Jesus. I can't see why. How many walkers have you killed? Sorry, gotta run. You should too. I think you got about seven minutes. Okay, Paul, that was random. It was clean. His beard was trimmed. There's more going on there. Oh, 
And the fact that he's in leather, and I don't want to discriminate against anyone or be prejudiced, but to me, leather is affiliated with biker gangs. Firecrackers. Shit. He swiped your keys, didn't he? Shit. Oh, no! We got well lucky finding that van. And he's clever. We could have used them, actually. What are you doing out here? I was on guard. I saw someone was in the woods. What are you doing out here? I'm going to keep walking now. I'm going to come with you. It's okay. Your mom told me I had to figure out what I want. Have you? I'm working up to it. Right now, I just want to find out why her son's wandering around the woods with a shovel. Let's go follow him. Carl, oh, I can't believe you survived a bullet to the face. That's twice now you survived on fire. Why are we coming out here? It's for kids. That's what they do. Because apparently the woods is the place to be this episode for people. This was a special request from the doctor. She saved Carl's life. We didn't know her and she turned out to be all right. She sure did. I'm gonna look this guy. No, not this guy. Why though? I mean, obviously he's just stolen from you. But he's well clever with his little pickpocket in schemes. We could use that to our benefit at one point, so surely. Here I am, dubious of everyone as soon as I see them. Even if they turn out to be good people, I'm still suspicious of them. And this one man who blatantly did something wrong to us in front of our face immediately. I'm like, oh, give him a chance. What the fucking world am I living on? It was just Michonne and Spencer. What were they doing? Don't really know. Something to do with the shovel, babes. Carl! Michonne's out here. I'm not leaving it. No. Hey. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Go home. No. In it. This is bullshit. It should be dead. Like, just leave. What is the beef? I need a bit of an insight to um, Carl's mental state after what's just happened to him. <gasps> really? I was just literally about to throw some shade your way, sirs, and say, if you go and catch up to a vehicle, but you did. Hold still, and maybe we won't hurt you. Sure thing. Oh my days! Look, he's combat ready too. Please come join us. I think you know I'm not a bad guy. Yeah. What do you know about us? Give me the keys. This is the last time I'm asking. Give him the keys. I don't think I want you to die this year. You seem quite interesting. You should be able to get free after we're long gone. Maybe we should talk now. <laughs> so long, you prick! Is this pool really going to be just a random extra that's going to serve no purpose to the story? That is not the vibe I got from him at all. You hear that? I bet there's some people in the back of that van and that is why he had stopped the whole time. Hold on. Wait, someone on the top. Oh. Hello. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Because your face is fucked up. Is that Paul? <laughs> this key's there. It's hilarious. Please can we not recruit him? No, please can we recruit him? Oh, how 
convenient is that? Oh no! Ooh. Duck. Yeah, duck. See, I love him already. Thanks. Oh my god! Oh no! Of course. Why would I expect anything else? I like his shit. Oh, he helped you. Maybe. You ever pull a weapon on you? Fine. Are we gonna adopt him? You've got a life back there. And maybe I will too, but before I can even think about that, I need to take care of something. Well, tell us what it is and we'll help. I can't yet see. I thought I saw her that night. Oh, wait there. Who the fuck is this, Walker? It is. Oh, okay. Makes sense with the hesitancy. Oh. So sad, isn't it? It reminds me of... Um... Carl and Laurie a little bit. So that's why I was out here. Oh, Spencer. You loved your family? Yeah. They're gone. I've been out here chasing you all over the woods. You still got family. Oh. You still got a home. And your family's never really gone because the person that they made you is who you are and as long as you don't change they're always got to be around. That's what we've been preaching recently. Hey. Hey. You have a good day? I saw what you did. With Deanna. You could have killed her. No, I couldn't. I Were you playing some sort of game out there? Did you think that? No. It, then why? It, because it should be someone who loved her, someone who's family, and I, I do it for you. Oh, my heart. Last episode was breaking in pieces, and this episode, my heart feels so full of love. You said we shouldn't be looking for people no more. You were right. No, I was wrong. You were right. Well, I said we shouldn't be looking for people at the beginning of this episode, but then we met Paul and he instantly became one of our favourites. He's hilarious. So consider me wrong. I don't mind admitting when I was wrong. Even though, let's be fair, he probably is a dodgy geezer and he us saving him, him and bringing him back here probably isn't going to be the best decision in the end. But we'll face that hurdle when we get to it. It is pretty stupid of us to go out there, is it? Yeah. We'll do it again tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Hey. Who do these two live together? She was there in the beginning, in the morning. She's there last thing at night. She was in a bathroom earlier. Got you something. Is this instead of the toothpaste? Mm hmm All on account of your dental hygiene. <laughs> Have your mints. Um, what? What? What have I missed? Is this their first kiss? Well, how long have they been doing this for? Is this why she's moved in with them? Is this just happening or has this been happening in between the last episode and this episode? What the fuck? I'm obsessed! Oh. Wreck. Wreck. Why? Why are we waking up? 
up. Why are we naked? Well, obviously, I know why we're naked. Oh! We should talk. <laughs> okay, guys, that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. I feel like I missed something in between episode 9 and 10, you know. Like I said in the episode, last episode, heart was breaking. This time round, my heart is full, and I don't think I'm the only one. So, Carl is not only alive, he is thriving as well. He's got an eye patch over his eye, he's still recovering, he does physical therapy apparently, he's off wandering in the woods, he's, he's you know what, he seems in a good place. I wish I had a bit more insight on, um his mentality after discovering that, you know, he was shot in the face because that's going to do something to your psyche, isn't it? But I'm just glad that he's alive. So that put a big smile on my face. And then Daryl and Rick went out to try and get some toothpaste from Michonne, some fizzy drinks, soda, pop for Denise, and some food and medicine and just things that we need. And Rick was like, we're also going to find some people. And I was like, oh no, we don't need to find no people, we have enough people. And then we met Paul, and then I was like, where have you been all my life, sir? I mean, I'm well suspicious of him, but he's hilarious, so he could stay around for a little while. And then, in the woods, Michonne and Spencer and Carl and Enid, they all came across the Walker version of D Diane, Diana. I will never get her name right, doesn't really matter anymore, she's gone. Because Spencer was able to put her down and hopefully that can help him in some weird twisted way to move on. And then after that busy day, everyone is just deciding to unwind and Rick and me, Sean, they are sitting on a sofa and I'm like, oh, what? so these guys hang out and live together, why? And then they started making out and then I went to the bedroom and you know, tonight was the night where two became one. And at first I was like, what the hell am I watching? Where did this come from? And now the more I think about it, I cannot think of anything, anyone, any team more perfectly suited to each other. <gasps> My art's gonna combust. Now, I don't know if that's the first time that they've done that, but that's the first time we've seen that happen. And although it was shocking, I was like, this is perfect. Who else loves Carl and Judith? as much as Rick, and the answer is Michonne. And Rick and Michonne, oh, their relationship all the way up until now, I wish I had dissected it more because I knew they were close. I knew that they were such a good unit together. I just didn't really see any romantic inclination from it, especially because it was only the last episode that Rick was in love with someone else and obviously she got murdered. So he's moved on quite quickly, but whatever. And then right at the episode, when they're, you know, half asleep from their lust-driven activities, they are woken up to pull at the end of their bed being like, hello babes. So these two batches of episodes, the last one and this one, completely two different ends of the spectrum, I loved it. Back-to-back -back stellar episodes like these just make me fall in love with the show even more. And so I'm ready to continue even further. So if you want to be with me while I do and you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button down in the comment section. I've not even got to that bit yet. I mean, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And down in the comment section, just sound off about whatever you want in this episode, what made you smile? I'm sure there is a point in this film, in this film, in this episode that made you smile. For me, it was a lot of it. I can't stop smiling. Do I think it's going to last? Hell no, I don't. But for now, I'm just going to appreciate it. So until next time, guys, stay safe out there.